Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So keep in mind, you guys, that this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading. Uh, these messages are not associated with any certain month or any certain time period. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. This is just whatever message spirit wants to bring forward for you at this time, yeah? Or in this current moment. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Uh, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're new here, hello, my name is Eric. It is wonderful to meet you. And if you're returning, what is up, squad? Yeah, so we're going to get into this. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That is a great way to help support the channel. Uh, without the Patreoners, you know, it, it wouldn't be as easy for me to do this. Uh, you guys absolutely help me to be here to do this, to... Uh, to provide these messages. So thank you all so much for being part of Patreon if you are there. And if you would like to be a part of it, check the description box below, uh, patreon.com slash divine conversations. You do get extra readings, extra content throughout the month with me that would not be found here on YouTube. Also, follow me on Instagram, not Instagram, well, yeah, on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. But I am now on Twitter, yes, uh, at truly, T-R-U-E-L-Y, underscore sidereal. If you're wondering why I chose that handle, we practice true sidereal astrology, astrology here on Divine Conversations. We'll talk about that at another time, yeah? All the links to this can be found in the description box below. I'm also available for private readings. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, that is the information for that is in the description box below as well. All right, Taurus, I'm going to give this one last shuffle and we will see what message Spirit has for you at this time. Yeah, here we go. What's going on for Taurus at this time? For the Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is going on for Taurus? First card here is the Ten of Wands reversed. Okay. All right. Ten of Wands reversed. That's good. I like that. Potentially. I do potentially like that for you. Um, there we go. Okay. Excellent. So we have the Ten of Wands reversed. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the Page of Swords. Okay. All right. And then the overall energy for you at this time, Taurus, is the Six of Pentacles. All right. So um, like I said, I do like the Ten of Wands for you at this time. But however... Um, the nature of which the Ten of Wands is showing up in reverse Taurus may not necessarily be the best thing for you. What I'm getting for you guys is that you're feeling overwhelmed. There's a feeling of being overwhelmed. So I heard another reader describe the Ten of Wands this way uh, in the past like, recently, and it really stuck with me. I really love it. Um, actually, he goes, he's someone new that I just discovered. He goes by the autistic mystic. He's pretty cool. Check him out. But he described the Ten of Wands as overpaid and underworked. And when he said that, I was like, dude, you're a fucking genius. <laughs> because that really kind of describes what I really feel like the Ten of Wands could actually be. Um, and Taurus, it's really interesting. I've always seen you as like a kind of a tank. You know what I mean? If anybody could handle the energy, the, the feelings of being overburdened or just ha carrying an extremely heavy load, if anybody can handle that, it's you, Taurus. Okay. I mean, you are, you do represent, uh, you are represented by the bull. Um, oxen were used to, uh, in, you know, before the days of machinery to help, you know, till the soil or dig trenches in the soil for, for planting and all that. Bulls and oxen are very strong, physically strong creatures, okay? But the thing that I'm getting from this Ten of Wands for you, Taurus, is you're fed up with carrying this load. And that's the aspect of the Ten of Wands in reverse that I actually really like for you. Because you've gotten to a point here where it's like, all right, I've had enough. I don't want to carry this load any longer. So followed by that, you have the Four of Swords here, which is you kind of like taking a moment, taking a break and, and saying, all right, what can I do to, and then to, pay, to the Page of Swords? What can I do 
to lighten this load, to, to, to let go of this burden that I'm carrying. And this is all in an effect, Taurus, of receiving greater reciprocity in your life. You do have the Six of Pentacles as your overall energy. All right. Uh, this could, again, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or North Node. So this could absolutely resonate for you on romantic a relationship scale. I do feel like that is kind of some of the energy here for you, Taurus. You may be in a romantic relationship or maybe it's just interpersonal relationships uh, with family, friends, colleagues, coworkers, where you find yourself either carrying most of the load or carrying a burden that you just don't, it's just too heavy for you, that you don't want to be carrying any longer. So the fact of the matter here is Taurus, and actually what I'm, before I go any further, what I'm getting with this Six of Pentacles energy here is that th this feels like something external, has been put upon you to get you to start to think about the lack of reciprocity in your life or in this situation. It feels like an external circumstance. It definitely feels like spirit, uh, your higher self, God source, creator, the universe, maybe even your guides coming forward and helping to, to, to manifest or helping to create a situation for you in which you are now starting to question the level of reciprocity in your life, the lack thereof, okay? And that is causing you to seek a new way forward, to seek a way to drop most of these burdens and be free of this, okay? Um, I want to clarify. Let's, let's go. Let's clarify some. I want to talk about this Ten of Wands in reverse. Talk about the Ten of Wands for Taurus, please, Spirit. First card you have is the King of Pentacles. That is you, technically, all right? Talk about the Ten of Wands, please, Spirit, for Taurus. Okay, that's enough. Next card you have with that King of Pentacles is the Knight of Cups. Interesting. Overall energy is the Four of Cups. Okay, so Taurus, um, officially the King of Pentacles does represent you. Uh, the, the the kings in in the tarot would represent the fixed signs, and this is the uh, the earth or the pentacle suit, which would represent the earth signs. So Taurus, I do feel like this is you. In some cases, in other cases, this could be the uh, someone else that you're dealing with. Um, most likely, a masculine individual, whether it's an actual man or a woman that uh, holds more of the masculine energy. Um, if this is a romantic situation for you, Taurus, this feels like somebody who is very, very materialistic, very materially oriented. This doesn't even, okay, so this could be another person, Taurus, this King of Pentacles, or it could be you. If it's not you, it's someone that ex that exhibits a, an extreme amount of materialism. And it doesn't even really have to be a romantic situation. This could be your friends, your family, your colleagues. This could be a, in individuals that are really just um, materialistically oriented. And I, I'm sorry that I keep repeating myself in that way, but that seems to be the best way to put it. Um, in terms of that, now, oh wait, I'm sorry. Also, this King of Pentacles could be you. And it could be both. It could represent the energies of other people. It could also represent you. And I feel like in terms of this Ten of Wands energy for you, Taurus, you were aligning with these situations from a materialistic point of view. But it feels like you're willing or wanting to expand beyond that because you have the Knight of Cups here. And this Knight of Cups energy, regardless as to whether the King of Pentacles represents you or someone else, the Knight of Cups absolutely represents your energy here, Taurus. Either you have been giving of yourself in a fairly naive way, in a very unconditionally loving way, in a very trusting way, and I feel like maybe you're being taken advantage of, or you want to, and or really it could be, you are wanting to move forward in a way that's much more compassionate, much more heartfelt, maybe even much more spiritually oriented. I feel like a lot of the energy here for the Taurans that I'm channeling for, or this message is for, is wanting to come out of a strict sense of materialism and wanting to have more emotional content, spiritual content to their lives. Okay, you could be dealing with people that are very gossipy, 
you know, very one-sided, very short-sighted. And yes, Taurus, at one point in this situation, in this circumstance, you were aligning with this as, a, as well. But I feel like you're growing out of this now. And I feel like you are coming to terms with how burdensome the strictly materialistic, heavy, weighed down view is or has been. And now you no longer want to give to this four of cups. You're over it. You're tired. You're bored. You want something more. You want something different. Okay. I want to go deeper. Can we go deeper with this 10 of wands? Now that we've identified a little more of the energies here, can we, can you explain a little bit more? What else do you have to say about this 10 of wands in reverse, please? Spirit for Taurus, the hanged man. Oh man. But the hanged man is reversed. Okay. I feel like this situation, this, this, whatever this circumstance you've been a part of here, it's, in some cases, for some of you here, what I'm hearing is that it's worn out, it's welcome. Or it's time is up, okay? You have the hanged man with the king of cups, the two of pentacles, and the six of wands. Taurus, this is a really excellent energy, but I understand how it's really not that easy to deal with. Because one of the main things about the king of cups is that he's very emotionally mature, very emotionally stable, solid, and grounded. But he's also, he or she, is also the type of energy or entity to say, okay, I know what needs to be done and I know it's not going to be easy. You guys hear me say this all the time if you've been following me. I know what needs to be done. I know it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to do it anyway, which is very much like it's indicative of you know the the storm that or the the rocky waters that he has going on around him here those are not easy to 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 ride through but he does it anyway he knows it's the right thing to do taurus you see i also want to point out how you've gone from this knight of cups energy to the king of cups here so again in the past you were in this king of pentacles energy where you were very materialistic or you were providing in a very materialistic way i i, I also want to say that i do feel like this king of pentacles if it does represent you taurus it's representing you being a provider in some way okay a very compassionate and loving provider but you were providing from a very naive sense Okay, or from a point of view where it was allowing you to be taken advantage of the King of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. But now you've progressed, okay? You've healed, I just heard, in some cases. You have the Hanged Man, which has come out in reverse, which I feel is a good thing, to the King of Cups. I feel like you have gone through a change in perspective here. It's this hanged man in reverse energy, Taurus, that is giving me the energy of whatever situation you've been a part of either it's worn out it's welcome or it's it, it's time is up because you sufficiently gained the change in perspective that you needed in order to move forward or in a, in order to be ready to move forward in order to ask the proper questions here page of swords to say how do i move forward from this situation you have grown you have matured from this knight of cups to the king of cups Okay, and so now because of that, you are able to come out of this situation, which may have left you feeling stuck and stagnant for some time. Okay, the hanged man is reversed. And with the hangman in reverse, Taurus, I do, the, the focal point for me is the the, the man's head. Because normally it's like this, right? Okay, this is what it normally looks like. But here, your focal point is drawn to the what is seen to, or the perceived to be the top of the card. And that's where the man's head with that halo around it, which represents or which symbolizes um, enlightenment, okay? That seems to be the focal point here. So you have gone through a level of enlightenment and that's causing you to want to rebalance your life two of pentacles to the six of wands so that you can gain greater clarity or greater um victory in your life now the other thing that i'm getting from the two of pentacles to the six of wands here is that there has been a level of for some time for you taurus there has been a level of um uh, uh, going through some sort of balancing act in order to two of pentacles in order to keep up the status quo or in order to keep up appearance make things seem like they are okay when really they're not that's what the six of wands can also mean okay but now i feel like that energy is shifting for you to where now you're rebalancing your life maybe even rebalancing your priorities with this two of pentacles here in order for you to gain a greater sense of victory and contentment and happiness in your life all right taurus overall energy now at this point is the star 
The star to the six of pentacles. Remember, the six of pentacles was the overall energy at the beginning of the reading. So now, and then the ten of cups, which is beautiful. So now you really are going through, you, you're going through a level of healing, but I want to say you have gone through a level of healing. And you've gotten to a point where you are now reaching for the stars is what I'm hearing. Or you're allowing the universe to guide you forward in a new way towards greater reciprocity for you. Um, and in that in this star energy for you, Taurus, I definitely feel like there is a level of surrender here. Okay? I understand that you're a, a fixed earth sign. You were showing up as that king of pentacles energy. So that's a very practical, very down to earth energy. Okay? We ain't talking about no woo woo shit around here with that king of pentacles. But there is a level of releasing a, a, a form of control, understanding that the universe is working on your behalf here. Um, and, uh, and in order to facilitate what it is you truly dream of. And with this star energy now, I definitely feel like there's a level of faith that you're employing into your life, but also a level of surrender to allow yourself to be guided by the universe so that you can move forward towards what it is you truly dream of. This is really beautiful, Taurus. Really, really beautiful. I want to, last thing I want to clarify here for you is uh, the Page of Swords. Can we clarify the Page of Swords for Taurus, please, Spirit? Mm, the Eight of Cups just flashed. It didn't come out, uh, but it, it flipped over and I saw it. So this Page of Swords energy is definitely an inquisitive energy, okay? And it's, an, it's a question you are asking, what's next? Or how do I move forward here now that I have, in fact, decided to walk away? So what's this Page of Swords energy for Taurus, please? Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely. Uh, however, when the Knight of Pentacles first came out, it did look like it came out reversed. But I flipped it over so that it was upright. Uh, the page of so actually I'm gonna take this reverse. The page of swords here is is an inquisitive energy. Ooh, with the queen of pentacles and the seven of pentacles as the overall energy. So you have come to a pl uh, an inquisitive place, Taurus. You have come to a place of um, what I'm getting specifically here for you is seeking out the understanding of a new vibration, a new vibrational reality. There's something that I posted that I shared on Twitter. Again, follow me on Twitter at truly, T-R-U-E-L-Y underscore sidereal. You can find the link to that in the description box below. But there is something that I, I posted there uh, for the whole collective. It's about a new path. Okay, there's a new reality coming forward for us. Um, and I, I, the chant, the message that I channeled there was allow yourself to play follow the leader in allowing this new energy to define itself for you. Okay. Instead of sitting there trying to, to, um, manipulate or instead of sitting there trying to define it for yourself or define it for itself. Allow it, allow this new energy, allow this new phase, this new reality, where it is you're moving towards next, allow that to define itself for you, okay? So what this Page of Swords energy feels like for you, Taurus, is no longer moving forward with the status quo, okay? You were very patient, you were very persistent in terms of doing the past energy somewhat of justice or allowing that past energy to continue. This feels like a complete halt in terms of that, okay? No longer moving forward with that because there is a greater level of understanding of personal worth. Queen of Pentacles here. So whereas in the past, Taurus, you were showing up as the King of Pentacles, you were a provider, and I kind of want to say you were blindly providing to whatever it was that you were involved with. And that was allowing you to be taken advantage of to a certain extent. <clears throat> but now there seems to be an about face and you're adopting more of the queen of pentacles energy side in terms of the queen of pentacles is not going to allow herself to continue pro to providing to a situation that is not reciprocal. Okay. She will cut you off before she allows herself to do that. And that's what I feel like is happening here. Because there is a level here with the overall energy for you, Taurus, of the Seven of Pentacles now. There is a level of understanding that you may not necessarily be getting what it is you want out of this. You're not receiving the fruits of your labor. You're not receiving what you intended to receive out of this. Or actually what I'm really feeling for you, Taurus, is that you're coming to an understanding of the fact that 
either you're not receiving anything at all or you're not receiving what it is that you truly want or desire out of the situation. And I feel like you're seeing this for the very first time. And so now you're in this inquisitive energy, page of swords of how do I get what it is that I want? How do I receive or, or how do I find myself in a position to be providing for, to the situation? Yes, Queen of Pentacles, she's still, she's still a provider as well, but also providing, uh, uh, also it be a reciprocally balanced situation because we remember that Six of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck originally, okay? That's what this Page of Swords energy is. And I really feel... I feel like I really want you, I really want to encourage you to maybe keep to yourself, hold this space, stay in this energy, this new energy here, and allow the energy to define itself. Like I don't want to, I don't want to do too much clarification on this because I really like the fact that you're in this inquisitive nature here. You're in this inquisitive energy, page of swords. The page of swords is the researcher, is the scout, is the sentry, okay? The page of swords is all about learning and communication, maybe even teaching. I feel like you're in an energy right now where you're open and receptive to allowing the energies, these new energies to define themselves for you. I really want you to stay there, all right, Taurus? And allow this energy to continue to flush itself out. And then you, and then that ultimately, and, and I, this, pay, this Knight of Pentacles energy here is reversed, but it's not a bad thing. Yes, it's a halt in terms of action, in terms of commitment, in terms of putting forth the effort. But that doesn't mean you're not willing to put forth the effort. You're just looking for the proper way to do that. Okay? Again, I'm not going to clarify too much more. I want you to allow this energy to define itself for you. And when the time is right, Taurus, you will be guided to take the proper steps or you will know what proper steps to take. Okay? Excellent, Taurus. I love this for you. Okay, Taurus, I want to get uh, closing oracle guidance for you. And I was guided to go for you specifically. Oops, I just hit the camera. I was guided to specifically go with the Earth Warriors Oracle for you. Okay, so give me just a moment here. And let's get your closing guidance for this message. For my Taurin, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Now, in terms of Venus energy, um, if this is a romantic situation for you, Taurus, this, this may actually turn into or end up being a breakup. Um, I do feel like uh, either you will be able to communicate with your partner and get things on track, okay, get the, get the situation to be more reciprocal, or you have come to an understanding, a greater understanding of what it is you truly want out of love and a relationship, and that would lead to a breakup if you do, if you are in a committed relationship with someone, but it could also lead you to a potentially, it ha, it, it, this provides you with the potential to have a greater relationship, okay, to have a greater partnership, to align with someone that is actually, actually much better suited to you in this new alignment for yourself, okay? Excellent. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Taurans, please, Spirit, for this message. There we go. We have card number 17. Padma Sundari. Out of darkness, the light is born. Beautiful. Padma Sundari. Oops. Okie dokie. All right. Here we go. The light is powerful enough to survive exposure to the darker side of humanity and remain pure, empowered, and effective. Trust in your spiritual purpose as a light in this world. Trust particularly in your ability to bring purity, order, grace, and light to dis disorder, chaos, and destruction. The divine is ever by your side and ever will it within your heart, assisting with you with this higher purpose in all ways. In a reading, this card says, all issues can be healed through the unlimited recourse and creative resourcefulness of the divine. You are destined to be part of a creative solution for any issue that you have in your life or that exists in the world and touches your heart. The issue only exists so that divine genius can resolve it. Struggles are sometimes the best way for us to learn something we need to understand for our life journey. 
Trust that when you ask for help, even apparently impossible situations can be turned around. With willing human healing, creative innovation, wisdom, and energy available to keep Mother Earth and all her creatures, including humanity, thriving. Never give up your hope and trust in what is possible, nor your willingness to act upon that hope and trust. Excellent. So there you have it, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the description box below. All of the information is available there for you. Check us out on Patreon. That is a great way to support the channel. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. And follow me on Twitter at Truly underscore Sidereal. As always, that can be found in the description box below as well. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.